Hello everybody, it is Bradley back. Thank you for stopping by on the channel Triple Ink. So today is going to be a list of my personal favorite niche fragrance houses. Now anybody that knows me knows that I really mostly only own designer fragrances. However, I'm at the point now in my fragrance journey where I've started to dive into the world of niche more and more, and I'm starting to appreciate these more high-end, unique scents. So for those of you who do not know, we have niche and designer and also indie, but I'm, also, I'm only going to be focusing on niche for this video. Designer, right, we got Dior, Chanel, Giorgio Armani, these types of houses that do make fragrances, but they also primarily focus on fashion and accessories. Niche fragrance houses are houses that only focus on perfumery, that only make fragrances, fragrance-specific houses. That's why they have a niche or a niche in the fragrance world. Now, I wear niche to be different, to be something special, and I really love the art of the perfumery that is used in making niche scents. You know, they're not trying to push out and sell a bunch of products like designer houses are. Rather, they just only focus on the pure art of perfumery, which I'm really starting to like. Niche fragrances also claim to have better quality ingredients. You also get a very nice presentation. They are usually more expensive, but again, it should be very, very unique for what it is. And I'm not associated with any of these brands or any of these companies that I'm about to mention. I'm just going off of my personal experience and my own personal taste of what I enjoy. Okay, so let's kickstart this list with the House of Creed. Now, Creed for me has always been that maybe someday fragrance house you know when I was just starting off I was hearing very very good things about the house of Creed people were just going on and on about it and at the price tag that they were at I was just saying maybe one day in my fragrance journey I'll be fortunate enough to be able to own some of those I'm at that point right now where I'm definitely diving into the house of Creed so I tested most of the Creed line even some of the exclusives line when I went I think to Barney's back in January I want to say when I did that uh, fragrance vlog video and as we all know Creed has some of the best fragrances for spring and summer, best fresh fragrances anyway. They all have a very nice natural quality about them. They all are pretty good compliment getters from what I say. You know, we got Millicene Imperial, Virgin Island Water, Aventus, Green Irish Tweed, the list can go on and on. I really, really enjoy them for the warmer weather, spring and summer. They are very easy to wear and again, they have a very nice variety of sizes and I really like their backstory and the whole theme of their line. Just one thing, I wish that they would lower those prices a little bit and make them a little bit more available, but I digress. So nonetheless, Creed is a definitely one of my favorite niche fragrance houses, especially for spring and summertime scents. All right, next niche house that I really, really enjoy, quite possibly my favorite niche house of all time. This is the house of Atelier Cologne. This brand was pretty much one of the first niche fragrance houses that I ever got into, and I absolutely love it. Definitely Atelier is the king of summer scents, the king of citrus. Nobody does citrus better than Atelier, in my opinion. They coined the Cologne Absolute concentration of fragrance, which I think is 15% per pure from oil, if I'm not mistaken. And they make photorealistic citrus scent, or maybe these one-note type fragrances. Very good diversity in their line, but for the most part, fresh fragrances are their forte. All these fragrances from Atelier I think are perfectly unisex. I love their packaging, the variety of sizes that they give you, and at the same time, every fragrance has a really unique story behind it, which I really, really enjoy. I love when these fragrance companies sort of bring you to a, a different place and a different time. Niche is so good about doing that, about making art, and I think Atelier does it really, really good. So if you are a fan of citrus scents, I can definitely point you in the direction of Atelier Cologne. I absolutely love pretty much everything that they have put out. And for the summertime, pretty much my favorite niche house, hands down, off the table, like, whoa. Okay, next niche house that we have up is the House of Parfums de Marly. This house specializes in cooler weather fragrances, in my opinion. We have some amazing gems from this house. We're talking about Habden, which I absolutely love, Godolphin, Herod, Ojuan, the list goes on and on. All of these are very rich, opulent fragrances for cooler days. The House of Parfums de Marly just screams high quality, very, very good, dense, rich scents, fit for a king. Their bottle presentations are dope also. They're, the cap's super heavy. I love the equestrian theme that they kind of take all throughout their fragrance line. And all of their fragrances are potent. Every single one that I own lasts easily over 10 hours, so great, great performance all throughout this house, which I totally respect. All the fragrances from Parfums de Marly absolutely command attention when you walk into the room, and they're just an absolute staple for me in the cooler weather. So Parfums de Marly is definitely one of my favorite niche houses, especially if we're talking about fragrances that have a little bit of punch to them. All right, next up we have the House of By Killian. One word that comes to mind whenever I hear the name of this house, luxury, absolute luxury. This is really the definition of niche in every sense of the word. 
amazing presentation as we all know with these cool cases with the keys in them and this velvet sort of material that the fragrance sits on. The bottles are stunning. They definitely nailed the presentation segment all day long. Now the House of By Killian, all their fragrances play on this sort of seductive aphrodisiac type of a vibe. And I mean their scents are just absolutely captivating and almost have a devious little edge to them which I think is really cool. Again when I went down to a Saks Fifth Avenue down in my vlog video back in January I met up with Mark. He's a sales rep for By Killian and he really turned me on to this line. He actually studied under Killian Hennessy himself, which I thought was really, really cool, and I just got some amazing info on these backstories of all these fragrances and how they were created. Overall, by Killian, if you got the money for it, it's one of my absolute favorite niche houses. And all their fragrances are absolutely show stoppers, statement makers, jaw dropping whenever you walk into the room. All right, next niche house up is the Gate Fragrances of Paris. This is a very, very new and up and coming fragrance house. Under the radar, in my opinion, very underrated, not a lot of people know about it. However, they have been getting some more play on YouTube. I have been a big fan of them for a while, ever since they come out. I tried First Sight and Hawaiian Wood, first of all, which were really, really good. And now I'm starting to get into their line a little bit more. I can say they all have very unique fragrances. All of them carry a very high quality with them. Some of my favorites from their line include Snowflakes, First Sight, Memories, Precious Moments. I mean, I could go on and on. They have really, really good scents. Okay, my last niche house I'm going to be talking about as also one of my favorites, and this is definitely a sleeper wildcard pick on the list. This is the house of Etat Libre d'Orange, straight out of Paris. This is kind of your quirky niche fragrance house that it definitely has some hits and has some misses, but you know, this is that's what niche is all about. Niche is not necessarily about pushing sales, making something mass pleasing. Niche is about being original, having authentic sense, and that is everything that Etat Libre d'Orange stands for. They're a very avant garde company. They kind of do their own thing, not really caring what anybody else thinks, which I really, really like that. I can definitely say that some of their fragrances I don't like, but they are works of art in their own right. They have some pretty cool concepts behind all their fragrances. They give them very unique names and very unique, like, mindset, you know? They've quickly become one of my favorite niche houses and I'm really looking forward to trying them out some more. So that was my little list of my favorite niche fragrance houses so far in my fragrance journey. However, I want to touch on some houses that I haven't really had much of a chance to try, but I would love to get to know more. First off, the house of Bond number 9. I've heard a lot of really good things about this house. They have a huge collection of fragrances from what I've seen. However, I just haven't really had the chance or opportunity yet to get my nose on any of them really so far, except for maybe one or two. So I'm really looking forward to trying out their line a little bit more. Number two is the house of Zerzhov. This is a super exclusive, very expensive niche fragrance house that, in all honesty, this is kind of like right now my maybe someday fragrance house, you know, maybe one day I'll be fortunate enough to maybe own a bottle or try them, but from what I hear, they have super high quality and a beautiful presentation, so I would love to sample out their entire line if I could. And thirdly, it's going to be the house of Serge Luton's. I've heard really good things about this, Cher Guy, all these really nice fragrances that are great for the cooler seasons of the year. Really like to try them out, definitely. So those are my three fragrance houses niche that I would really like to try out. So guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your favorite niche houses and why. I'm really looking forward to exploring more and more high-end niche scents as I kind of progress in my fragrance journey. Still, I like designer scents and I will do a favorite designer house video later on. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you later with another video. Peace.